What's going on boys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have got a Scream Card Insigne player review. But as you can see, last night I built an Italian team around him just to like, as I usually do, like how Messi had the Barcelona team and stuff like that. But I'm going to build an Italian team around him. And last night they actually released a throwback player in, in a sense to Giovinco. He's got a Scream Card himself. So we will be putting him in the team as well. So we'll be having running about two five foot four strikers running around the pitch, which will be fun. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, like the video, and comment down below any reviews you guys want to see. Let me know who you want to see me review. And yeah, so we completed Scream Giovinco as you can see here. Here he is, straight into the club he goes. I will put him into my team. We actually get the nice little uh, wall spell kind of issue kind of thing here, which isn't too bad. Lovely juggling. For that way. I can't look too much more of that because it's not anything special. He actually has some brilliant stats. This is kind of going to be like a two in one review. He's actually smaller than Insigne. Imagine being smaller than someone that is five foot five. I think I am. No, we ain't going to show you the team yet because I have a few plays in there. But we have got the rewards from the pack, so we'll quickly open these before we get into the review. Nothing in that one. As you, as normal, don't ever expect anything. Send all of this out. See you later, son. We'll open the second pack now as well. Hopefully, we get something. It's a decent pack, but I doubt we even get anything. Yeah, see. Cheers. Cheers for that. Yeah, brilliant. Alright, so let's go and look at the team that I have put together around Insigne. Let's get rid of all of this. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, boys. So, as you can see, I have you bought Insigne for 850k. I actually don't know how much he's selling for right now. We're going to go and play a few games with him after I record this section. He's selling for just about around the same price I got him for, which is quite a lot of coins. But when you think about it, he's similar to how Messi plays. He gets better links than Messi, in a sense, because the Serie A has a lot more variety than the Liga Santander. He has brilliant stats on his face card. I mean, 91 pace, 93 dribbling, 87 shooting, and 87 passing. He's even got alright physical at 70. 5 foot 4, so he is the same height as Jim Vinko. I corrected myself there. 4 star, 4 star, which is great. I played one game with him already. Hat trick and an assist in his first game. He is a lot of fun, especially at Cam, because he makes those runs straight past the striker. He's so quick and agile. Look at his stamina, guys. This is why I wanted to use him. He has that 99 stamina, which is absolutely fantastic. 96 agility, 95 balance. He's got that low center of gravity, 95 ball control, 91 dribbling, 89 curve, 88 crossing, 91 vision, 89 short pass, brilliant passing stats. Then look at his shooting stats. 96 attacking positioning with a finisher chem style, 97 finishing, 96 shot power, 99 long shots, 87 volleys, and then 82 penalties no 80 penalties and when you look at that card he's got 96 acceleration and 86 spin speed he is rapid he's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun to use here is who we've got next to him we have got i put i'm like a i went to build like an italian team with as many icons as i could basically at the time so i haven't got like the most expensive but i wanted to try out players that i would never normally try and i mean i've bought up this vieri for 380k, not too expensive. There was Inzaghi, but I preferred this. Vieri had better overall stats, better physical, better dribbling. So I thought I'd put him in. At left wing, we've got a throwback Serie A player in the El Sharari card. At right wing, we do have Mares, because there isn't any Italian right wings. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub out Mares when we go into the game, and I'm going to bring in that uh, Giovinco card on one of the wings. I'm not too sure which one yet. At centre mid, we do have Pirlo. One of my favourite cards this year. Verratti at left centre mid, just for that defensive side. Left back, we do have the baby Maldini card. At centre backs, we do have Baresi. And we also have Nesta. Nothing too expensive. Right back, we do have Zambrotta as well. And in goal, of course, the only icon keeper there is for the Tilly. Buffon. When you look at these, this defence... You don't see many people getting past that. I mean, this team is is going to be a lot of fun to use. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy the review. So, that's the team we're going to be running with him. Hopefully, it's like not too... I don't know about this team because not many of these players are meta players. Like, you know, El Sharari's not a meta player. Like, Vieri's not a meta player. 
The only meta players in this team, in my opinion, is Maldini, Zambrotta, Insigne, maybe Pirlo, but apart from that, the rest of the team is just pretty standard. I uh, will bring on this Giovinco card. I don't know what chem style to put on him. Maybe I want to up his pace a bit more than it is. What's his passing? 85. Let's just put a... Let's go with a Hawk. Up his physical, up his shooting, up his pace. We'll put a Hawk on him. And hopefully this team will play well. But yeah, you're going to see me change position now as we get into the game. But I'll see you in the game. Yes, boys. So, as I said, this team was not fantastic. Insigne was the standout player. And you will see over and over again the reason why. This team just did not feel great. Is Insigne popping up with a lovely curler right into the top bins. You love to see it. I love to see it. We love to see it. I ain't going to dab. He goes to dab. That's his automatic celebration for some reason. But have a look at that. Go on, son. Where do you want it? Top bins. Ah, oh, got you, son. Boom. Lovely. So moving to this next clip, you can see Insigne is on the run. He's going. He's going. Look at the drive. The determination. Picks off the defender. Smash it into the bottom corner. We love it. We love it. A lot of these times, I'm scoring. But I do not win these games because this team felt absolutely dreadful. I don't know what if it's handicap if that exists or whatever it was. But this defense and midfield just went absolutely disgusting. I put some nice play together here. You can see El Sorari making his way down the wing. Pings the ball into Insigne. Insigne with a little roll. Puts it into Pirlo. And Pirlo first time with his left foot top bins. You love to see it. Andrea Pirlo. Pepperoni Pirlo. Into the top corner. You love to see it. You love to see it. You love, you love to see it. Here we go. Next clip. You got Insigne playing a 1-2. Gives it into Giovinco. Giovinco's looking for him. Can't find him. Plays an excellent pass round to El Sorari. El Sorari puts it first time in Insigne. He's there. Oh. I don't know what that finish was, but it went in there. That's what that matters. <laughs> lovely goal. Lovely goal. Lovely celebration. Lovely trim. He's got a beautiful haircut, that guy. Yeah, look at that. What's the keeper doing? Baldy. Anyway, next clip. You see Insigne picking up the ball here. Look at it. Watch this for some dribbling. Yeah, you want to see some? Oh, see you later. Yep. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. He's none again. Oh, my God. Freestyler. What about that then, lads? And that time, I did dab. Pirlo dabbing. Imagine that in real life. Oh, you'd flipping have to make me president. If that happened in real life. Insigne picks the ball up here. Look at the skill. Right, lads, you ain't ready for this. It's like a record, a game breaker in FIFA Street. Oh my. And that's the messy dribbling you love to see. I've gone through four defenders, past the ball keeper, and I pull it straight in the back of the net. Insigne was on fire with his dribbling, but the rest of the team just wasn't. The rest of the team was absolutely horse crap. Here we go. Insigne through again, showcasing that dribbling. I can't believe I didn't get to score here. It would have been so nice, but obviously AI built blocks, keep it out. But that's all I said. It's all the clips I got because the rest of this team was absolutely doo-doo. Insigne, good player, not worth the coins. I will let you know in the next clip. But there you go, hat trick in his next game. Lovely jubbly. See you soon. Peace. Yes, boys. So as you can see, we played some games with him. We got a few clips, but I'm just going to go out here and right now and say this team was dreadful. There is no meta plays in this team apart from Insigne, but there just was no. This team felt absolutely horrendous. I was getting smashed. The defense is all icons, and it felt like bronze players. Buffon, I know he's a legend, but he played horrendous. Everything felt bad about this defense. The only thing good about the midfield was Pirlo. Giovinco isn't great. El Shuari is crap. Mares is rubbish. Insigne is the only good thing that I got from this game. He was the fun player to use. But I'm going to go out right now and say he is not worth 800 plus K. No chance. Uh, at most, I'd pay for him 500K. No more than that. You can get better players for that price. Mbappe is nearly that price. You can get a lot of players near that price. Do not get Insigne for 800K. Unless he drops a lot this Friday when I think they all get re-released. Do not pay that much for him. I'm going to go on and sell mine now. He, I'm going to say right now, in the Is He Worth It series, he is not worth it no chance not even near that much no thanks no this team was crap the whole team was rubbish Insigne was decent he got a few good clips here and there he might run better in a different team but for me in this team dreadful he might need a link up partner I even changed to the 4-4-2 in game and it didn't get any better he just was not good this team was not good just don't do it that's all I've got to say this guy I didn't even play I left him on the bench I played one game with him he felt stiffer than a flipping tree he was so crap now that's my verdict. You guys may go out and try him. Just don't pay nearly eight, over 800k for him. Please don't. It's just not worth it. Uh, unless you love the guy in real life or you've got a mega team around it and you can put him in, fair enough. But if you've got like an average team and you want to put him in there and you or these icons aren't meta icons. Zabrotto was good. That's it. Like, that's all I felt. Pirlo, brilliant as always. I love Pirlo, but that's it. 
Just don't do it. Just don't do it. I'll be back tomorrow. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Like the video. Comment who you want to see me review. Drop in the comments. I've got a list. I'll add to it. I'll, I'll do it for you. See you soon. Peace. Thank you.